Hey guys, Jingroves here. So, this is a video. Actually, it's not a video for you guys. Um, it's a video for people that you know. I'm just saying. Um, and this is one that I will probably catch a lot of flack for. Um, but it's not for you guys, like I said. So it'll probably be people thinking that I am definitely harking on them. Which I will already say, yes, that is the big point. So, anyway, but this video, guys, is for anybody that you know in your lives that either says anything for to you or anything about liking or enjoying manga and them being kind of disgusted with it or whatever because they don't want you to do it. Um, so, I'm not exactly where... Uh, or sure where I should start on this subject because obviously like I said it's not for any of you guys um, you guys can listen to it and put your opinions in the comments and stuff like that because I do think that you guys' opinions as well as letting other people know maybe how you've handled stuff before or whatever have story time with it I mean you know I like doing that too so um, this is for basically if you catch yourself in that that whole thing of your parents or a spouse or a sibling or whatever want to sit there and basically tell you that you reading manga is stupid and doesn't matter in life. So, and I mean, I've been told that before, but this is really... This is really because I had a friend say it and it kind of frustrated me. Hashtag where's the beef. Um, it would be somebody not in the community that would try and beef with me, right? Um, like that one even matters. Um, you know. Um, God, I don't know where to start on this one. Anyway, I will just start wherever I want to. Fuck it, whatever. Um, so... First off, for you out there, whoever it is, you do know that this is still reading a book, right? Like, even though it has pictures and whatnot, it's still reading a book. And if you like comic books, you're very hypocritical, and you should probably just, like, I don't know, burn your whole collection of books because you don't understand that manga <laughs> is basically comic books. Um... Side story, My I collect all the manga in my family, um, and my brother collects all of our comic books, so at least one of us would be able to tell you you're being really stupid about that if you want to say, oh, it's for a little kid or whatever. I mean, there are a lot of dark things that happen into it, and um, good God, if I did a picture before on Instagram, if you want to go check it out, if you can get your family member that actually does like the stuff to go find it on my Twitter channel, um, where I have a picture of my, my child when he was like a year old holding a Juji Ito book, God, if he would have opened that, you know how much flack I would have caught? That book is totally not for children. So, yeah. That's it's not all for kids, guys, and I don't understand too when some of you guys want to say that it's for children, yet at the same breath, it's hentai or it's something that's perverted or whatever. And you want to first off say that it's kids and then say that it's sexual, it can't be both, you're gonna to have to pick one, um, you know. That stuff just doesn't get made out there. Sad to say. Um, another thing, if you like novels and you're reading a novel, and this is your standpoint that it's not a real book, reading manga, I've been there, I've done it. You may attempt to try and read a novel, <laughs> and you are one of those two chapters a day is good, try reading 12 manga. Where the word count probably is well over 500 to 1,000 words in one. And reading 12 of those in a day. Um, I'm pretty sure that person just read a whole novel while 
you decided that two chapters was more equivalent to it, doesn't it add up to that? I'm sorry. It just doesn't. And they're not having to absorb every little detail of somebody going into a rant in a paragraph telling you how a room looks. Um, I've been there. I've done that. Um, you know, I did want to be a writer. I still am a writer. Um, that's only has published poetry because obviously my poetry was better than my writing or I just never stuck around long enough to finish a book and my manuscript somewhere in the house, whatever. Um, I've also written plays. I know a lot of my fans don't even know that stuff. Um, but there's a lot out there and I don't understand why you as that person that doesn't want them to read because you don't see it as a comic book, a novel, anything that's important. I mean, there are some manga that handle more racist, sexist, everything, uh, topics that are out there than most books will get into and even most newspapers will get into. So... And they all come mostly with a loving message, which is good. Um, so if you want to be that way, you should probably figure out why you're not actually reading manga. <sighs> On top of that, um, manga is seen as one of those niche, uh, if you don't know that word, means kind of a, a subgroup of a subgroup of a subgroup. Um, it's a very rare thing, which if you look around hard enough, there are a lot more than what you think out there. Uh, why would Barnes and Noble, um, or any of the other places actually pick up manga if there weren't very many of us that were going to read it, honestly? Um, you know, and obviously with the scans issue, which you don't know about, you, you won't know about, you know, pirating stuff, basically, um... You know, even though that happens, there's still a lot of cells that are done every year. Um, there, I'm pretty sure, has been manga on bestseller list. I'm pretty sure there's also been manga. And, like, the books that say uh, top 100 books to read before you die. Um, you know, there's a lot that I don't understand why you would attack your family member or co-worker, friend, or whatever, unless you're kind of an asshole, and not letting them focus on trying to read this book, um, or anything else like that, like, it just doesn't make any sense to me, so, now that we've gotten all that stuff out of the way, moving forward with this, um, manga is also one of those things that a lot of people enjoy reading, because it is not seen as something that um, kids read um, that do have problems and don't fit into most groups. Um, well, they fit into the manga group because most of us are open to uh, a lot of new experiences and what and trying new things. And that's where we build our friend group is because they're may quote-unquote be a little something off or seen something off as us which I mean if you stuck around long enough and understood your child um, parent kid whatever this person is related to you then you would probably understand a lot more of they are reading something that they enjoy and at the same time why would you do that I mean you've probably read looked up whatever something that um, isn't so tasteful to the public eye. Um, everybody's done that. Uh, you know, there's probably less than 1% that have that are holier than thou in that description that um, haven't ever touched the internet, haven't done anything, and are basically um, out there, you know, that haven't done anything, which... My idol, one of them, Mother Teresa, you know, bless her soul, um, was probably one of those, or close to one of those, so, 
there's a lot stuff, a lot of stuff out there that's a lot worse. So you should probably back off because that just makes you a bunch of colorful words that I do not want to say on a thing for people, even though I have let some slip already, but, um, back to it. Manga is very accepting of people and a lot of people read it. A lot of different people read it. And there's something out there for everybody. It's got so many different subject things. It's got stories that basically are the same story that in a novel and another novel would seem almost exactly the same. But because of little tweaks here and there in the artwork or whatever, it is totally different, drastically different. You know, I mean, I'm surprised Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, um... A lot of other stuff. Um, Percy Jackson. Um, you know, some of that other stuff hasn't been turned into a manga or gotten, gotten an, a manga adaptation at the time. Um, or yet. Because there are a lot of different things that go into it. You know. So. Um, as far as it goes, though. Again, for you not wanting somebody to basically read a book for a their own enjoyment b because maybe you're upset that you're not into it or that you don't have a hobby to supplement that and that you have to be upset about their hobby um or basically c you don't you want to be in control of their lives and whatever um there's a lot there. So, um, again, you probably should look back at yourself because, um, I've never run into, I take that back. Um, I have never run into a very bad person that reads manga. I have read into, ran into some of those people that are kind of a pain in the butt about manga. Um, here and there, but I've never met anybody that actually with manga has ever tried to kill somebody and rip their throat out because they liked it or something else like that. I mean, you're quelling an addiction. And like I said earlier, that could be, um, a lot worse. Um, they could be alcoholics using drugs way over the top um a lot of other stuff just telling you there's more stuff out there but we're not going to get into it um you know if you want to get into that you can go watch like the show forensic files on netflix or a bunch of the other shows that are like that um case closed ncis whatever pick your poison because you probably already know about all that stuff um but again if you don't know about that and you don't think it's as big as it is, let me just tell you, you haven't seen this wave that is coming in and our manga community probably grows. I feel like it's like the Grinch. It grows three sizes every day, you know, give or take, you know, because we have people that come in every day, people decide to make their first video every day. It happens. So why don't you just let them kind of have their own thing, especially if it's not getting in the way of life. They're already spending most of their time doing whatever you want to do. Um, a lot of other stuff. I mean, hey, who does it hurt to let somebody read a book? So anyway, thanks for watching. I know some of my my fans slash other people that enjoy some of my content will jump into this and comment um, I know they'll say good things and will highly enjoy it, have some of their own opinions put in there because obviously there is a lot of other stuff in there. Um, there are some of us that do read novels and there are some of us that or that turn around and read novels and read manga, which I'm sure they can give you more of an insight into that. 
Um, there are a lot of other people that do different stuff in the community and still have very huge functioning lives, families, um, you know, etc. And some people get paid doing it. So there's a lot out there. So maybe the next time they want to sit down and read a book or something like that, you probably shouldn't scold them about it or make them feel bad about it. Um, because this is probably something that's stopping them from punching you in the face, honestly. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'm sure that you probably won't ever come back. You might, you might like that I insulted you, but, oh well. That's weird. <laughs> but I'll catch you later, everybody. Anybody that uh, is a fan or whatever that likes this, comment down below because obviously that is kind of a thing with watching this, commenting down below and letting people know your opinion on it, everything else, any information that you know about it, and um, helping the rest of our quote-unquote manga uh, brothers and sisters <laughs> move forward with enjoying this hobby that we all have so I don't even know why I should even bring up that it is a hobby I mean it's something fun to do and people are getting mad about that that doesn't make any sense just like a lot of things don't make a lot of sense but hey I'll catch you guys later I'm Jen Graves thanks for watching so I'll catch you later bye